Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mrs. Buitenbeentje. Today's video is a surprise project. It is a project for me to get my sewing mojo back. And there's no better way to getting my getting your sewing mojo back is by making a fabulous dress out of fabulous fabric. And that's just it. As simple as that. So why I say I need my sewing mojo back is because this is the first fashion mood board that I made that I wasn't able to finish um, more than a half of the projects I set out. And you know, life happens. So, and the second setback that I had is I still had one more dress. So my last project off of my full fashion mood board um, both of them I'll just put the eyes somewhere in the screen so you could go and check that one out um, the dress in the front the front of the dress was but the back of the dress was not so and so I needed some encouragement and I bought this fabric for my birthday and I was like mm, I need to make something fabulous and so I ended up picking pattern out of the knit mode and this one is of November 2017 ever since I saw this pattern I was like I need to make this dress I'm happy I did so let's get into the specs the sizes run from size 34 up to 54 and the amount of fabric that you need is runs from 1 meter 30 up to 2 meters but this fa this pattern can only be made with stretchy fabric now they state here that it can only be made with jersey knit however scuba crepe so it's just fine there there are five pattern pieces and there is an amount of 14 points to follow in order to complete this dress the only thing that I had a little bit of issue with was this piece, this pattern piece that needs to go between the shoulder seam and a little below for the, um, for the pleats. So that is definitely something that I had some issue with. Other than that, it was smooth sailing. I'm just going to show you how it's lay on the fa on the fabric. So you do need to draw the pattern in a way that you can lay it on uh, a single, so not folded, but just single um, uh, fabric. And everything is just is, so. This is the back. This is the front with the pleats. It indicates exactly where you need to, um, in which direction you need to fold the pleats. This is are the sleeves. And then this is the interfacing and this is then the piece that goes between the shoulder and the pleats. And that's about it. Next is styling. <laughs> I can't hide my excitement. I am loving. Now this is my surprise. So um the dress has it doesn't have darts in the front it does have some detail some pleating going through the, to the shoulder and um it does have an interfacing and then it has two darts in the back that's what it has and other than that it doesn't have the split or anything but the fabric is everything i'm going to step on the stool because i have it now styled with a uh, with a shoe, like a burnt yellow shoe. So, these are the shoes that I opted for right now. It's just a classic heel. It's not too high, but it's good for work or, you know, like a simple occasion or something. So those are the shoes I have it styled with now. Uh, the camera is not really doing it justice. I wanted to check out the sock boot and then like an olive color, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so. That's it, you guys. As always, I enjoy making this video. I hope you enjoy watching. Don't be afraid to comment down below if you have any questions or just want to say hey and have a great, great day. Bye.